Welcome now to another Golf Mates video. Today is a belter. You ready for this? Have you ever thought about designing your own golf course? Well, today I'm at my course, Charlton Comardi, and we're going to do just that, and we're going to have a bit of fun with it. So, we're going to design our own golf course. Now, you've got to remember this. Back in the day, old Tom Morris, Pete Dye, Alison McKenzie, they've all made great golf courses. But, as time goes on, they get tweaked, they get redesigned, like the Masters, they moved a few trees. So, we're going to do that today at Charlton Comardi. This course is 6,000 yards, it's a par 70, but we're gonna make four new holes, and I've already gone out with the greenkeeper, and I think these new holes are gonna be fantastic. We're gonna have a par three. We're going to have a par five, a brilliant par four. I'm gonna recreate the 18th hole at the Masters. We have got the tightest driving hole in the world of golf. Right, let's get to the first hole. Right, so what you see in there above now is a brand new hole I've made. I have made a par five. It's not a long one, but it's got danger all over it. It's only 471 yards. But, as you can see here now, where I've put that little line there, that is a ditch going across. So we need to carry it 190 to get over that ditch. And then we could, you ready? Get on in two, but if we go a bit left, I've got to carry 190, but the height of all the trees. So it's quite an intimidating tee shot, this. So if you're going to play it as a free shotter, you'll probably hit one, like a seven iron, get one about 160. Same again, seven iron or wedge on. But we won't be doing that because we made this par five and the name of it is Risk and Reward. So you know me, I like it with a risky business. I'm having a go. So we've got the four holes. I'm going for one over. I'm the seven handicapper on this course. I'm not playing great, but it might be just playing the same course all the time. When I go to new courses, I play better. What's this one? It's Liam's dream, it's called. Right, on the tee, Liam. Four, seven, seven, but it is downwind. You can keep it right to the trees, great. High and left drawing. No nose, it's well over him. I tell you what, I bet the shot tracer looks absolutely awesome on that. Right, there's a chance I can get on in two. I just, I did, I won't lie to you, I was trying to go, you know, with that lines are right inside on the bunker of the green, but it's drawn in a little bit, but it's downwind, so we're all right. Right, so we're well over the ditch on the risk reward, only by about 30 yards, to be honest. I've got 202 yards. I'm going to go with four iron. I don't think it's in the rescue is the right club. It's been a bit naughty at the moment. In fact, it's going to go in the naughty cupboard. In my head, start it on them bunkers and draw it in. Great. It should just be a midges short, and that will give us... Oh, the wind's changed. It's this way now. It should help with the Dennis Law. If you're coming from America, that's draw. And it's not, look at that, it's probably going to go straight in bunkers or he's going to help me out and be short, be short, be short. Right, but oh, see, this is it with the risk it reward. As you can see, I've just gone a little bit right. Now, I've positioned the bunkers on my new course. I've got to go over the bunker and land on the green. But it's a McKenzie green, which is two tiered. So I've got a little uh, risky shot next. Okay, I'm not longer than a 40 am. I think we all have that problem as men. So what I've done, Got a nine iron, I'm just gonna st aim it slightly at the flag. It'll bounce a little bit right to left, but it should give me that birdie putt. So we're doing a, a nine iron chip and run. Nothing dangerous here. Just get it on the green and have a birdie putt. Hey, simmer, simmer, simmer. I think the green keepers have rolled the greens. I didn't tell them to do it today. <laughs> but it's safe, end it there, Luke. It's a right shot, in it? You know, you try and float one, you bring the bunker, it's just a safe shot on risky reward, hole number one. Right, birdie putt, risky reward. Should be a little bit left to right. Or it could be straight. If anything, it might have come this way. Let's tap this in, clean it up, as they say, on tour. So I've cleaned that up for a nice par, but it was a risky reward hole because taking the driver, was a lot of risk with the trees and had to hit it over 190 carry. You ready for this? Let's go on the next hole, you're gonna love this. Right, so I brought you to our ninth hole here at Chalk Commander. It is 392 yards. Now, it's a little bit, uh, it's a bit boring. You'll see where I've put the tee box now. It's miles better and, and it's now 410 yards long. Right, so I've actually brought you to our six T. That's right, the six T. Now, as you can see, flying over now, now we've got like a dog leg. So it's, it's actually 395, it's five yards shorter than I said. So you want to aim down there, closer you are to the left, you're going to cut the corner a little bit. You ready? This is a par four called Double Trouble. 
395, I'm going to try and aim for the tree down there. I think that'll be a nice place. If I can get it to 150, great, but it is a big hit. Wind is left to right. So if I do get that little dry at last time, the wind should push me perfect. Wind's just taking him. Is that going to get the 150? It's going to be short, the 150, that. What a great hole. Tell you what, I bet you I've got about 170 in. Tell you what, that weren't the best strike. It was a bit leaky, a bit like the plumbing in my house. Right, golf mates, here's my tee shot. I have got 165. I would hit six iron, maybe seven. The problem I've got to hit six is that tree getting it high. Now, six iron, probably be plenty of club if I don't hit it right, because I'm not hitting them right, but I want to make sure I get over that tree. So I've got seven iron, pin is at the front. If this is five yards short, I will take it, because I know it'll get over the tree, and I can chip and put. And it's over the tree, it's going right, it's not the best swing. Oh dear, 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 dear. That is not what we wanted. That is uh, just a bad swing. Name's Liam Harrison, not Liam Baker Finch. I'm an architect, not a golfer. So double trouble is becoming a bit of a trouble. So what I've got now, I've got pitching wedge. The only reason I'm not hitting nine now, I just want to make sure I hit it over this first court and then let it run on. I think nine, I'll, it'll be too big if we get over this court. I slowed up, I thought that were class. I can honestly say, I kept my mouth shut, I thought I hit a belter, a belter. Put in for par, we've got a long par in. Right, put for par, not on the green. To be fair, I've got a bit intimidated on this hole. I'm probably gonna have it a stroke five, because it's a bit of a beast. Right, put for par, a little bit right to left. Okay, a little bit left to right. <laughs> I don't even know my own greens. I don't think they've built these to my specs. I might have to fire someone. One over. Well, I'm still doing all right on the course record. I'm still leading it because I'm the first time playing it. Right, I'm bringing you to a beautiful par three. This par three is beautiful. Surrounded, beautiful. Framed well. This is the one. Right, so I've brought you to our six. If you want to see the six green, you've got to stand on there. So what I've done, this is a par four. So pretty, it's like a birdie one, it's 265 yards, I think I've got it there, yeah, 264. But what I am going to say is this, you can't really see the green. I'm going to name it Picture Perfect, but also what we're going to do is go forward, turn it into a par three, and I think you'll agree with me, it's one stunning golf hole. Right, so we're here at Picture Perfect, I showed you what it used to be, it's better here. This is beautiful, you can see it land. I've got 165, I'm going with 7 iron because it's downhill, so I think that'll lose about 6 or 7 yards. Wind left to right. I'm currently 1 over, my target was 1 over the 4 holes. Have you ever done this on your course, or do you have them competitions where you make your own holes up? They're fantastic, they're a bit of fun. Spice, changes things up. What's the variety of life? Spice. Oh, don't touch it, wind, and I've got it, I think. Yes, see? Put a bit of spice in me, a bit of fire in the belly, got it. Par, then par the last hole, but like I said in the intro, it is the hardest tee shot in the world. I have done myself like a kipper, or is it great design? So as you can see, I've designed this hole, I've had a bit of spin back, because I, I built the green Sam base, you see, USPGA spec, so they are zipped back, as they say in America. But here in Blighty, we call it a bit of jizz. I'm not seeing much, a little bit right to left, but like my other reads, they're not great. But I do feel a bit of right to left. Oh, we're trying. Hey, hey, that's golf, that, isn't it? Eh? I'm going to ask you a serious question. Serious. Should I stop the architect business and play a bit more golf? Mm -hmm. Right on the final hole of our course design. Stop. Press the like button, you are forgetting, and make sure you comment how we're we doing it. And if you're watching off the TV, this is how you subscribe to the channel. Okay, right, here we are. This is like the Masters. There's no leaves on at the moment. Just watch this with magic. Bung! Leaves, tight as anything. This is called, are you ready? Wish me luck. It is 215 yard to clear the bunker, but you've got to keep it tight. I am going to try and start it there and see if it fades like me other. Or really, I'm swinging over the top a little slice. This is hardcore, this. This is hardcore, and the wind, well, that's all I need. No, the wind's in, so this is not good, this. If I can get a par here, I'm the course record holder. To be fair, if I get a 10 here, I'm the course record holder. Right. Oh, 
Looks like I'm getting a 10. Did you get the shot tracer on that? That was uh, me going for a fade slice. Uh, well, we'll have to go and find it. I might have, I'm going to get provisional just in case. More like it. Oh, the wind's got that. Well, that's all be. That's all over the sand because I've only seen the birdies, but that's five. It's five. We need to find the first one. Right, just going to interrupt this. These two lads here are very. Uh, basically, you've seen the nice drone footage. It's not what you've seen, is it? These were trying to play an hole, and the, the drone's hovering above their head, and these two are picking it up. See him here. You don't like him. He's been playing golf nine months, but he's off six or seven. Is that right? And how old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. Anyway, back to the course record attempt. I found it, well these lads have, to be honest, he picked it up and we had showed to him. He's a tea leaf him, so I'm gonna knock it back in play. Just like that. I tell you what, this course record attempt's not doing well. I've got a four iron here, I don't think it's a club, but I think it's all it needs. Look at this, look at this. If we don't make it as an architect, it could be a, an antler, a reindeer. Right, Caddy, will you get us my eight iron, please? Me, me. You give that a clean as well. <laughs> Tell you what, it were all good. Do you know what these two are? Come here, lads. These two are what you call a jinx. <laughs> right, it's all going down here now. I don't know if you can see that here. I can't hit that, so I'm going to have to have a drop. So let's be straight. I've had one, two, three. Drop in four. They'll be playing five. I'll be better off with that drive. Right. Yeah. I'm going to get another club. I think there's a shot here. Right. So I've had five. It's not going well, this. But as you can see, hardest all in golf. This is what they would have had done in the Masters. I think uh, fewer players have been in here. So I've got seven eye. I'm going to try and punch it through and get it on the green, which you might be able to see the flag. You might not. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Stay on the green. You can see it on the green there. Keep quick one, it's on the green, it's just going right now, it's going right, you might see it though, it's just been on the green and off. Hey, hey. Oh yeah, I see it now. Hey, magician. <laughs> <laughs> right, so here we go. I've had six. I'm a bit disappointed, but like the hole says, wish me luck, it's a hard hole. So it's into win, I've got my 54, I'm going to skip it up there and just do a bit of jizz jizz. This is like a Phil Mickelson shot. And I've left myself the uphill putt for a seven. I'm not saying that right for a seven, but I am going to get the course record. Now, let's be honest, have you enjoyed it? Because I have, it's been great fun. More importantly, it just breaks things up and it's, it's good to have a change. Playing the same course all the time, it changes it. Anyway, I've got this for a seven. Little bit of left to right. Oh no, I've got an eight. There you go, so that's an eight. That's a five over par of four holes. But they were brutes, they were brutes, there was some good golf and bad golf. All I'm going to say is, see them videos there, if you're new to the channel, give them a watch, make sure you like, smash that subscribe button, be a golf mate, and we'll see you soon!